All right, you you're responsible for the first smash pit. But... Uh, at low end theory, yeah. From what I've heard, that was uh, the first mosh pit at low end theory, and then, which isn't actually my proudest moment to be completely honest, because like I don't know, I feel like if you're gonna mosh, like I don't know, go to a punk show or something, you know. So I started making uh, beats in uh, around November, like seriously putting on beats, and uh, it was pretty much after uh, this Pure Filth event in LA where I saw No Such Thing perform, and I had actually seen him before at uh, The Smell in LA, but uh, it, it wasn't nearly like the same type of thing uh, as what he did there, and uh, it pretty much just blew my mind and made me realize like I gotta step up my game, you know? Before the beats, music-wise, I actually uh, used to throw some events in, uh, in like Santa Ana and stuff. And uh, after that, like uh, I, I kind of tried to do to be in a couple of bands, but like it just doesn't work out really like for me because the whole thing with beats that like is really convenient with me is like I could just roll out of bed and start working like at any time. Like I just have to go the room over and it's chill. I don't have to rely on two or three other dudes coming over like at the right time for us to practice and stuff like whenever I have like a thought in my mind I can just put it out on on this layout and it's chill. I feel like this whole music thing like you only get to really try this shit once you know like it like it, by the time I get older like I'm probably gonna have to have like a serious job be looking like for a house and like a family and whatnot and like it's just it's just great that I've started young because it just gives me more time to like develop myself as an artist and kind of just see if this is really what I want to do. And also like it's it's also a plus like to have like pretty decent beats and send them out and like for people to find out you're only 19 like it's pretty cool. It's definitely helped me um, as a musician being a blogger beforehand because it, uh, it gave me an idea of like what to do and what not to do when uh, making my music and also sending out my music and when also like what to do with contacting people like it's really all about being completely professional um, you don't want to come off as cocky to anyone and you just want to stay humble and um, you can always learn from other people's music as well so like every time we get music sent to us like I always listen to everything and it's just I, there's little snippets from each song that I can really appreciate and like I always think to myself like oh why didn't I do that in my own music and I kind of just learn from everybody else out there. I'm actually working on a five track EP. Um, I have like four pretty solid tracks right now. I mean I have a bunch to choose from but four that I'm really comfortable with. Just looking for inspiration for that last one. Pretty much the uh, opening track on my EP. I'm looking to get a couple people to remix it. I really don't know how that's going to be released. I haven't really thought it through completely. There's a lot of like labels out there that I would love to send my music to, but I'm not sure if it's quite ready. But then again, I might be just too hard on myself. Um, so I might go with the whole blog route too, because I would just like more people to really like know who I am, you know. And I'm all about giving out free music too. I mean. I do run a blog. I really want people to listen to my music. Um, that's like the main thing. That's like my main goal. Like, I, I'd much rather have like a hundred people like know my songs than like a couple people to have like bought the tracks, you know. And uh, like, it's just I really want to get my stuff out there, and I feel like it's coming soon. I'm definitely ready to put every to put some stuff out there.